The largest known prime number has just been found. Remember that a number is prime if it is divisible by only one and itself. There are 25 primes less than 100, and Euclid proved that these go on forever. Primes are the multiplicative building blocks of the integers, and they are crucial to code making and internet security. There are many classes of primes, but we want to look at Mersenne primes. These are named after Marin Mersenne, a French priest who organized the scientific community in France and is called the father of acoustics. Mersenne looked at numbers of the form 2 to the n minus 1. Here I've listed the first few Mersenne numbers, and you'll notice that some of them are prime. Note that mn is prime only when n itself is a prime. This is no coincidence. If n can be factored as a times b, then 2 to the n minus 1 can also be factored, so it is not a prime. For example, m6 is 63, but since 6 is 2 times 3, we can factor 63 like this. This means that if mn is prime, n itself is a prime. Does it work the other way around? Not necessarily. 11 is a prime, but m11 has factors 23 and 89. While testing the primality of a large number usually requires a ridiculous amount of computation, testing Mersenne numbers is much easier. The Lucas Lamer test, named after Edouard Lucas and D. H. Lamer, is tailored to test Mersenne numbers. First start by constructing a special sequence of numbers. Start with the number 4. Each number is formed by squaring the previous number, then subtracting 2. As you can see, these numbers grow pretty quickly. The Lucas Lamer test says that mn is prime if and only if the n minus first number in the sequence is divisible by mn. Let's do an example with n equals 7. Note that m7 is 127. The first step in the sequence is 4. Step 2 is 14. Step 3 is 194. Since in the end we only care about whether we have a multiple of 127, we can divide by 127 at each step and replace our number with the remainder. That is called modular arithmetic. So we replace 194 with the remainder when we divide by 127, in this case 67. Step 4 produces 4487, whose remainder is 42. Step 5 is 1762, whose remainder is 111. And finally, step 6 is 12319, whose remainder is 0. Since the sixth step, 7 minus 1, produces 0, the Lucas Lamer test tells us that M7, or 127, is a prime number. The Lucas Lamer test is the basis of a huge effort to find Mersenne primes called the Great Internet Mersenne Prime Search, or GIMPs for short. Over 1 million CPUs have been used in this project. The new prime record has n equals 74,207,281, meaning that this colossal number is prime. This Mersenne prime has over 22 million digits. It was found by Curtis Cooper, an American math professor working with the GIMPS project. A question that still baffles mathematicians is whether there are infinitely many Mersenne primes. Is there even a next one beyond the one recently found?